Have you ever wanted to make perfect restaurant quality poached eggs? Well, I'll show you how. Begin by cracking your egg into a strainer. This might seem a bit odd, but we need to get rid of the watery, stringy part of the white that would turn into a messy kind of bird's nest in the pot. Transfer your strained egg to a ramekin and repeat the process for however many eggs you're planning to poach. Next, fill a pot with water, about two cups of water or a half liter of water in my case. Add a bit of vinegar, which will help to speed along the coagulation of the white so it sets up nicely. I would say about a teaspoon of vinegar for every four cups or one liter of water would be right on point. Then we're going to turn the heat on and bring our water to 205 degrees F or 96 C. If you don't have a thermometer, it's fine. The telltale sign is that the vinegar will go effervescent and start to kind of spritz up out of the surface of the water. Create a vortex in the pot by spinning the water with a spoon. Then, deploy your eggs from the ramekins and start a timer for two and a half minutes. We spin the water because it wraps the white around the yolk. This phenomenon is known as Ekman pumping. Basically, the centrifugal force of the vortex converges with the difference in pressure at the top and bottom of the pot and creates an inward force. The friction between the floor of the pot and the water reduces the centrifugal force, so the water at the bottom rotates slightly slower. The inward force is still just as strong at the bottom of the pot, so the water is pumped towards the center, which pulls the egg along with it to create a nice little wrapped up package. Remove your pretty eggs using a slotted spoon and transfer them to a plate lined with paper towel. Here I'm enjoying my eggs with a couple of slices of buttered toast and some smoky bacon. Garnish the eggs with a bit of flake salt, some black pepper, and some chives if you're feeling fancy. And there you have it, restaurant quality poached eggs. As you can see, the white is firm, the yolk runny, and the overall outcome totally delicious. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more content.